This is the story of the three little pigs. Not the three little pigs that you know from your childhood. Uh, we know about that story with the big bad wolf who wanted to eat the three little pigs. And the three little pigs had been built up houses of straw and the big bad wolf had come along and thought, oh, you silly little pigs, I can blow that down easily. And he huffed and he puffed and he blew the houses of straw down and the little pigs were terrified and so they quickly built houses of sticks. And the big bad wolf laughed again and thought, ha, huh, I can blow those down very easily. And he did. He huffed and he puffed and he blew the houses of sticks down. And, and the little pigs panicked again. Said, what can we do? And one of the pigs said, I know, we'll build our houses out of bricks. That should do it. And they did. And the big bad wolf laughed even more. Ha! Huh, I can blow that down very easily. And he huffed and he puffed. And they didn't fall down. So he huffed and he puffed a bit more and puffed and huffed and huffed and puffed and puff huffed as much as he could. And yet the, the brick houses did not fall down. Well, the big bad wolf was cunning. He couldn't get to eat the pigs that way. So he decided that he would form a government. And he said, I am actually a reformed big bad wolf. Now I am a kind, benevolent sort of government and I will, I will provide you with facilities and things and, and I will look after you pigs. And the pigs, for whatever reason, started to believe that actually the big bad wolf was their friend after all and had been reformed. And the big bad wolf would provide them with certain rights and certain things and he, he wouldn't go charging after them and, and eat them and everything seemed all right. But the big bad wolf was really a big bad wolf and had plans. You see, the big bad wolf was watching how the pigs were enjoying themselves and building more houses and having lots more of uh, pigs, lots of piglets. And it was getting a bit worried, actually. There was rather a lot of these pigs now, and, and actually they were eating a lot of the stuff. And he thought, well, a lot of these pigs are pretty useless, aren't they? They're like useless eaters. And he and the big bad wolf had many other friends who were also big bad wolves. And they started to watch these piglets and they thought, hang on, they're taking all over all the land and we're not sure about this. If only we could control them. Maybe what we need to do is to herd them into an area where we can have cameras and we can observe them and penalise them if they travel anywhere where we don't want them to. And maybe we could convince them not to eat all the wonderful healthy foods, but actually we could convince these pigs to eat things that are unhealthy. We could have more control. Control. And the big bad wolves all sort of got together and they said, this is a brilliant idea, but how do we do it? And one big bad wolf said, well, I tell you what we could do. We could tell them that the island that they're on, in which they're all now wearing grass skirts and, and having a lovely time, we could tell them that the island is actually warming up. Uh, it's all due, due to their problems, you know, the way that they live and how they, they drive their cars and, and the industry they have. We'll, we'll tell them that actually it's their fault and they should stop doing the things they did. So the big bad wolves made that a bit of a policy, but the pigs were a bit canny, you see, and they said, hmm, I'm not sure that the big bad wolves have actually got our best interest at heart. They're pretending that everything is warming up. They're saying it's all our fault. And we don't believe it because we can't see it. The, the, the island is not warming up. We're still wearing plenty of grass skirts and having a lovely time doing our little sort of dances and things. And so the big bad wolves were getting a bit frustrated by this. And so one of the big bad wolves said, I tell you what we should do. We should tell them that the era has moved on. And actually, this is the era of global boiling. Yes, they won't like that. After all, pigs won't like to be boiled up into lumps of gammon, will they? And so they told them that through special television and, and they kept saying, oh, you know, it's really hot now and, and it's so hot, my goodness, the whole place could just burn down any minute. But the pigs, you see, uh, they were still splashing about in their little mud piles and driving about in their cars and watching the ocean, which they'd been told would rise and rise and the, the island would disappear under the water. But nothing was actually happening. Uh, it wasn't really getting any hotter and the oceans hadn't risen and there was no fires. And actually it was quite lucky because all around the towns where the pigs lived, there were not that many trees to catch fire. So there would be no hope of that. 
And the big bad wolves started to think, well, we need to convince these pigs, absolutely, and pigs across the world on other islands, that this is happening and we can have more control. How are we going to do it? And one of the big bad wolves, it was a bit of a scientist sort of chap, says, I've been mucking about with sound and vibration, and I've got a device that you can target places and you could actually create what would be seen to be wildfires. It would give the illusion that there were um, a, 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 so much heat that actually we were in the era of global boiling, uh, that things would catch fire. And the big bad wolves in charge were going, this is brilliant, we love it. Yes, we'll target one particular town, that town where they're all in grass skirts and having a lovely time. We'll target that, we'll raise it to the ground. So they got this equipment, they set it all up and they set off this sonic beam and they targeted all the houses and they razored the houses to the ground. The metal of the houses now, the bricks um, and the aluminium, they all melted at very high temperatures. It was quite extraordinary. The houses just collapsed uh, to, to nothing, to dust and, and fires suddenly ignited from all that heat. Uh, but it was quite weird. Luckily, a number of the pigs did escape from all of this and they, they saw their town had been razed to the ground and, and the, the big bad wolf pretended to be the, a benevolent government again, went, oh dear, look at this, how terrible. We did try to warn you, wildfires, we did say you should have moved away. But the pigs looked at this and they said to themselves, but it's very odd, isn't it, how these so-called wildfires have uh, started? Because as we said before, there was no trees around us to catch fire. And actually all the trees in the town, uh, they're barely scorched. Uh, and yet the temperatures of these so-called wildfires was enough to raise the buildings to the ground but uh, and the metal and stuff. But the plastic seats that we used to love sitting on after we've been in our mud patches and little puddles and things where we would sunbathe on, the, the plastic seats haven't melted at all. And look at the trees, they're barely scorched. It's a very kind of weird sort of wild fire that only attacks the buildings and doesn't attack the other stuff, the, the less metallic stuff, the trees and the plastics. It seems that just the metalwork and things like that have melted. And it was weird because it was like the earth tremored from some vibration rather than what you would get in a wild fire. And, and where did it start and, and what trees did it burn in order to come this direction? So there was a lot of questions the pigs had. And the big bad wolves were getting slightly worried now because it seemed that the pigs once again were wising up to the big bad wolves' plans and the pig pigs could see through the fact that the so-called benevolent kind big bad wolves were not kind and benevolent, were actually mean and nasty and many more of the pigs now were waking up to the fact that these big bad wolves were nothing but big bad wolves.